guys, it's Rachel from Desert Balsam Crafts back with another crochet pattern. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this cute poinsettia ornament. This little guy is really easy to make. We're just going to crochet a red flower, a leaf piece, and then some cute center pieces and sew it all together. It's not hard at all and I'm going to show you step by step how to do it in this tutorial. Before we get to the pattern, just a few quick notes. If you would like the written pattern for this ornament, go ahead and check out the links in the description box. I have there the link to the blog version of this pattern along with a link to a printable version which is an ebook filled with 11 other ornaments just like this that are all super cute and fun. So there's different ways you can view this written pattern, whether on the blog or ad free. All that information will be down in the description box below. But I'm sure you're here because you want to see how to do this step by step, so let's jump right into the tutorial. When you start gathering materials for your poinsettia, there's just a few things you'll need. You'll need worsted weight yarn, first of all, in three different colors, red, green, and yellow. You don't need much of any of them, so if you just have small leftover balls, that's totally fine. This red, I don't even know what brand it is, so as long as it's worsted weight, it'll do just fine. Or even if you use a lighter or heavier weight, but it's all the same weight, you'll be totally fine. This green is Karen Simply Soft. I do think that is a good yarn for this poinsettia, but again, it doesn't really matter. Once you've picked out your yarns, you also will need a 4mm or G crochet hook and a yarn needle to weave everything together when we get to the end. And once you have all that, you are ready to get started. To get started, just make a slip knot and go ahead and start with two chains. Now for round one, we're going to be working in rounds for this pattern. So go ahead and make 10 single crochet into the second chain from your hook. There's my first one. Now when I do this, I do like to work over the tail because then we can tighten the center and make sure there's not a big hole there. So I'm just catching the tail as I do this and going around until I have 10 single crochet. So here is one, two, three, four, five, six. So just scoot it over and keep on going. It'll feel a little tight, but just squeeze them in. Eight, nine, and 10. Okay, and then we can take that tail and tighten it up. Now do not join, just leave it as is and we're going to work right into this first single crochet here. Go ahead and make a single crochet into that first stitch. We're going to do a series of stitches in this stitch. So first single crochet, now half double crochet, now a double crochet. So we're getting gradually bigger and then we're going to go back down, half double crochet and single crochet. Now we're going to skip the next single crochet, which is right here, and do the same thing into this stitch. Single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, half double crochet, and single crochet. And this is just beginning the five petals that are going to go around here. So we have two done, and we're just going to repeat this all the way around. So we'll do a petal here, here, and here. So three more. Let's do it one more time together, and then I will speed up the rest of it. Single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, half double, and single. So go ahead and repeat that around. Okay, so I'm getting to the end of this last petal. I just have one more single crochet to do. And there we have our five petals all done. Now the first round we didn't join, but we actually are going to join this round. So go ahead and just slip stitch to the very first single crochet of the first petal right here. And that is round two, and you can see all our petals starting to form. Round three is our last round, so we're gonna be doing some taller stitches to get this up to size. 
Go ahead and start by chaining one and half double crocheting in the same stitch as that slip stitch we just made. Double crochet in the next stitch. And now we're going to do a few stitches in this top one to make the point of the petal. Double crochet. Now we're going to make a pico stitch. To do the pico stitch, chain three. Turn the chain over and find the back bump of the third chain from your hook. So the first chain you made, here's the back bump right here. And we're going to make a slip stitch into that back bump. There's our pico. You can pull the slip stitch tight. Then turn your flower back around and do another double crochet into the same exact stitch. And there, that's going to form the point of our petal. Now go ahead and double crochet into the next stitch. Half double crochet into the next stitch. Now we're going to close off this petal by doing a few slip stitches. So slip stitch in the same stitch as your half double crochet. And then slip stitch in the next stitch. So the next one should be the single crochet of the next petal, the first single crochet. So this next slip stitch is going to start the next petal. Okay, so we have our first petal done and we have the first slip stitch of the next one done. But if we pull this up, you can see how it's forming just exactly like this one. And the slip stitches on each side help bring each petal in so they look like separate petals. So let's do that one more time together. This petal is going to be the exact same way as the first one, but we'll do it one more time. Chain one, half double crochet in the same stitch as your slip stitch, double crochet in the next one, now we're going to make our point, so double crochet, pico stitch, so chain three for the pico, turn over your chain, look for that third back bump, so one, two, three, so right here, slip stitch, turn your flower back over, double crochet, and there our point is done. Now double crochet in the next stitch, half double crochet, slip stitch in the same stitch as the half double crochet, and slip stitch in the first single crochet of the next petal. Alright, and there's our second one done. So this is what you're going to repeat across all of the three remaining petals, so I'll meet you back when I get close to the end. All right, so here are my five petals. I'm almost done with this last one. I have done the point right here and then the next double crochet. So I just have two stitches left. I'm going to half double crochet in the very last stitch here. And instead of doing two slip stitches, this time we're just gonna do one because we already have the slip stitch over here from the first petal. So just slip stitch in the same stitch as your half double crochet. Pull it a little bit tight and then you can fasten off. To make the leaves we're going to be using a very similar technique as the flower. So go ahead and chain two and this time we're just going to make six single crochet in the second chain from our hook rather than ten. Now the reason for this is that we're only going to have three leaves total rather than five petals. So let me show you this. See we only have three so we're going to spread out the leaves through six stitches. So here are my two, now I'm doing three, four, five, and six. And once again, do not join this, we can just tighten it with the end we worked over and move right into round two. I'm pleased to tell you that round two is pretty much exactly the same as for the poinsettia, it just doesn't repeat as much. So we're going to do a single crochet into the first stitch. This first one can be a little tricky to get into, so just loosen it with your fingers if you need to. There we go. So single crochet, half double crochet, 
double crochet and then come back down with a half double crochet again this is all into the same stitch and single crochet now we're just going to do this two more times so skip the next stitch and just start doing it in the next one so there's our second one and we just have to do it one more time right here so skip this one make your single crochet half double half again and single okay so there we have our three leaves all started to finish just skip this last single crochet and slip stitch into the first one and just pull that a little tight okay round three we're going to be using some tall stitches so bear with me here start by slip stitching in the next half double crochet right here chain two and double crochet into that same stitch just like that now we're going to do a bunch of stitches into this point we're going to do two triple crochets a pico and then two triples so yarn over twice and let's make a triple crochet make another triple crochet now the pico is exactly the same as before so chain three grab that back bump slip stitch and now we're going to do two more triple crochets into the same stitch I know it'll feel like a lot but it's making the leaves tall enough here and here's our last one into the same stitch there we go now to finish this first leaf double crochet into the next half double crochet chain two and slip stitch into the same stitch and that is our first leaf done I know it looks a little funny right now but that's exactly how we want it to be and then we're gonna slip stitch in the next two stitches to get ourselves over to the first single crochet of the next leaf and we're just gonna repeat this process again so the repeat we're actually gonna slip stitch again into the next half double crochet chain two double crochet now we're at the point to do this big point with the triple crochets again so work two triples the pico and then two triples and then th this other side will be the exact same as before double crochet into the next one chain two slip stitch and then you'll slip stitch over some more and repeat the last leaf so here I am almost done with this last leaf I've chained two right after this double crochet and I'm slip stitching in the same stitch and to finish I'm just gonna do two last slip stitches one and two and then I can cut my yarn so just one more thing we need to do before we assemble everything is make the center pieces so grab your yellow yarn and a three millimeter or D crochet hook that's a bit smaller and these are super simple just chain two and then we're gonna slip stitch in the back bump of the second chain right there pull through your slip stitch and just pull this nice and tight on all ends and just tighten it up and we're going to use that as a little centerpiece let's do that one more time chain two turn over the chain find that back bump slip stitch pull it nice and tight on all the ends and then cut your yarn when you cut it leave a kind of long tail because we are going to need to sew these on and then when you knot it pull everything just nice and tight and kind of scrunch it up all together just like that
Yay, so here are my five pieces all done, my three center pieces and my poinsettia and leaves. To assemble, you're gonna start by sewing these on. So we're gonna sew the leaves on last. So what I did is I just kind of grabbed each one and assembled it kind of how I wanted it to look. I just kind of did them with the longer part going this way and just kind of evenly space them around like that. So you can play with that, but let's just do one of them together. So what I did is just threaded each end and brought it down through the back. And then I'm gonna do that with the same end. In fact, if you don't want to thread your needle both times, you can also use a crochet hook. Just pull it down and then what I did because I didn't want to have to weave this all in I just tied these two in a regular knot right like this pulled it tight and then I just clipped these ends off not too short but just short enough that they won't show after we sew the leaves on so if you want to be all good and weave in these ends you most certainly can just make sure they don't show on the front just weave them through the back but I just cheated and clipped them off and it doesn't show at all once we sew on the leaves so go ahead and do that two more times and then we will sew them on this way okay so here is my centers done and this is what the back looks like and then to do the last part it's really not hard just position it how you want it to look. I kind of did the top petal. Uh, you can pick any petal to be the top, but once you pick one, um, I put it sticking up between two leaves and then the bottom leaf sticking down like this, kind of in between the two bottom petals. So that's how I layered them. And then I just took the red end. You can really do the green or the red, but the red is a little bit easier because then you can go up and down without the green trying to come and show here. So you can just take that red end and go down, up, and kind of sew around until it's all secure. I really didn't do anything fancy, which is why I usually don't show you what I did. I'm just weaving down and weaving back up, and it's pretty simple. Once you do that, you can weave in your ends and attach a hanger to your ornament. If you're unsure how to attach hangers, I do have a video that I will put down here for you to check out. But overall, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I'd love to see you around my channel more. I have lots more ornament crochet patterns along with sweater crochet patterns, stitch tutorials, lots of stuff like that. So I'd love to see you around there more. Thanks for watching. Bye!